During the uprising that toppled Muammar Gaddafi, anti-regime fighters accused black Africans of fighting for the regime. Many were forced to flee their homes and hide out where they could. It's really a big problem. These people go into homes, they kill people, and they take all that we have. This is no small matter. Years later though, and they still targets of xenophobic and racist abuse. African migrants in Libya still face arbitrary arrests. According to Amnesty International, many are held at detention facilities under deplorable conditions, including women and children. The rights group says they are even denied access to medical treatment. Beatings and electric shocks have also been documented. Amnesty says the torture and ill treatment we uncovered at holding centers is unacceptable and is a stain on the record of post Gaddafi Libya. The rights group says the abuse of sub Saharan foreign nationals risks becoming a permanent feature in the country unless Libyan authorities immediately reverse their policies.